Hi everyone, uh, so it's time to connect the Shelly EM uh, power meter module uh, up to my consumer unit. Um, I've seen a lot of people that install the Shelly EM module itself inside uh, the consumer unit and leave it floating around. Uh, I don't really want to do that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this 13 amp um, fused um, socket or spur uh, from a spare uh, MCB that I've got in the consumer unit. So I'll mount this somewhere close to the consumer unit. So I'll have its own ded dedicated uh, radial supply connected by its own MCB. This is a metal uh, metal clad consumer unit. If it's covered under the stairs, it's going to get knocked about a bit potentially. So I thought metal might be a good idea. So I will run a uh, 25 mil squared cable from the consumer unit as a radial spur to this um, uh, fused outlet. I'll do that via some conduit, some plastic flexible conduit, and I mount that somewhere close to the consumer unit. So I'll have a look at that in the next video. And then from here, uh, I've got this small plastic um, junction box. Um, which is just the right size for a Shelly unit. So I'll mount this close to this power um, unit and then run some uh, flexible conduit between the two. So the way that will work, so if I just get my Shelly module, so that's nice and small. So this is absolutely perfect. This will just sit inside here and then the supply will come from this unit through the side here. There's some little uh, pop out um, blanks here so pop one of those out I can put a grommet in there and then run the power supply cables uh, to power up the Shelly itself and then from there I've got two of the transformers because I'm going to be measuring two circuits so what I'll be able to do is through another knockout run the um, cables from the transformers into the Shelly and then through some conduit again to keep it tidy I'll take these to the tails that I'm going to measure and clip those on. So it should be nice and simple and it'll be a nice clean installation so I just thought I'd go, go through how I'm going to do that. These parts were relatively cheap I got this from a local um, electrical store it was about £3.50 I think and then the um, plastic uh, junction box, which is IP rated, doesn't need to be because it's uh, in the house. I got this for less than two pounds. So parts quite cheap. I already got the black uh, flexible conduit. Uh, so next thing to do is to go and find a suitable place um, in, uh, in the cupboard under the stairs where the consumer unit is. And then I'll start mounting everything and running the cables. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here's the uh, two consumer units and here are the two tails that I want to connect uh, the Shelly transformers to. So one of these is the positive supply for this consumer unit, which is all the main circuits in the house. And then another one on this tail, which supplies this consumer unit, which is all the circuits outside the house. So Shelly will be able to monitor obviously the total, uh, but also um, how much I'm using inside and outside. So looking for a good place to mount this, probably on this blank wall over here. So what I'll do for the, um, the power uh, spur, what I'll do is I'll take one of my empty circuits in here. So I've got two empty circuits. Uh, I've got one on this bank and one on that bank. So I'll probably take a, a six amp um, MCB run a radial circuit probably out of the top here and up to a space over here and then I can just mount the unit about here and then just off to the right of that I can mount the, the small box where I'm going to put the Shelly unit and then that means I'm quite close to run uh, some flexible conduit uh, tidily at the back there uh, to protect the transformer wires and then I can connect them up here. So it should be quite a nice, uh, neat installation. It's going to be difficult to film this because this cupboard is so tiny, I, I hardly fit in it. So what I'll do is uh, I'll do it in stages and come back and show you progress. So the first thing I'm going to do is mount the two boxes here. And then the second thing I'll do is run some conduit 
uh, or two pieces of conduit I should say down to the back of that consumer unit uh, that's mounted about an inch away from the wall so I've got a lot of space to go down behind the back and then I can connect inside here um, to the uh, MCB that I'm going to run the circuit from. So I'll be back in a few seconds um, to show a bit of progress. Before screwing the boxes to the wall you just want to knock out uh, the blanking plates that are already kind of pre-cut ready to push out so a screwdriver and a hammer will just push those out nicely so get those in the places that line up for you so i did that in the metal back box and then in the plastic one i've got a entry there for power and i've got another entry uh, to send off the cables to the actual transformers do the measuring uh, these don't knock out particularly well so what I did I used one of these step drills so these are brilliant uh, as you push them in each notch goes up a few millimeters and that's great because you've got good control then to get the right size hole so what's going into these holes are these little connectors so they go in screw up from the inside and then you can put the flexible conduit onto those so just to show you um, with the middle back box that would just pop into there then you'd put a little screw on there and then the cables can go through and then the same on the uh, on the plastic one that will just pop in the hole neatly so that gives you a nice clean entry point and the cables then will remain protected in the uh, flexible hose right anyway i'm going to get these mounted uh, onto the wall and then i'll be back okay so i've mounted the uh, power junction box there uh, so that's screwed to the wall with raw plugs and then I've fitted the 20 mil flexible conduit going up to the junction box where the Shelly unit will be housed itself. So you can see uh, it's just screwed in there with a little capping screw to keep it in place. So that means the power that comes into um, the junction box can go up through the conduit into the Shelly unit and then just at the top of the right of the Shelly unit you can see an exit there already. Uh, for the two transformer supplies to go down and then to the two uh, towels that I want to measure. And then the other thing to do next is to get power from the consumer unit up through another flexible hose into the metal, into the, uh, metal back box. So back in a sec. Okay, so back again. Uh, so progress is, you can see I've got the two... Um, current sensing transformers fixed to the two circuits, one for um, this consumer unit and one for the main consumer unit. You can see that the cables go off into some uh, conduit that I've put in. It goes up and then goes into the top of that um, uh, connection uh, box. And you can see that the Shelly is all wired in. So circuit one, circuit two for the two transformers they're wired in and the power supply the power supply goes through this conduit and out into the metal back box so the next phase is to run power uh, to that back box from the consumer unit so i shall run another piece of conduit here just to the uh, just to the right of the um, back box to the back and then i'll run that some 2.5 mil cable down to one of the spare uh, MCBs there so sorry I can't film this while I'm doing it it's just so cramped in here I can't really hold a camera and work so I just thought I'd show you where I am so I'm going to clip the cap onto that uh, top junction box because the Shelly is mounted in there nice and neatly and all wired in and then the next phase as I say is to run a radial line from a spare MCB uh, into that and wire that all in so I'll be back in a few seconds and show you the completed job Okay, so all finished. I've run a radial uh, spur, as you can see from the conduit there, going into the junction box. You can see the wiring's done in the back. You've got live um, from the consumer unit um, MCB, and then you've got out, which you can see with the red ferrule tips going up to supply the Shelly at the top there. All I need to do is button this down. On the front you can see there's an isolation switch and there's also a port to put an individual fuse. So in the fuse holder I'm going to do two amps because that's the rating for the Shelly unit uh, so it's nice and secure. So the reason I did it this way is because it's separate from the consumer unit. I didn't really want to take the consumer unit apart and now it's all separate. The Shelly's in there. I can just pop that cap off 
uh, and replace it um, if I need to at any point and then I've got a complete isolation point here for the power supply so that's it it's all done all I need to do is just button that down um, and the wiring's complete power it on uh, and then you can see I've got the two um, sensing transformers on the two tails uh, positive tails um, one for the outside consumer unit and one for the inside consumer unit and then uh, I'll head over to the IP address for the Shelly device and we can see uh, how it's starting to measure uh, the power consumed so I'll be back in a sec once I've logged into the Shelly and buttoned all this down okay so I'm back on my laptop uh, the Shelly is powered up uh, so you probably saw in an earlier video on the Shelly EM series that I uh, set the IP address uh, to fixed. So first thing to do, open a browser to visit uh, the IP address. So mine was 192.168.1.247. Press enter. So here's the, uh, the web interface uh, for the Shelly EM. So I have not connected it yet to the Shelly cloud. So this is standalone. So you can see I had two channels, the one on the left I've named as house. So I'm currently consuming around 300 watts. And then the one on the right is uh, for outside the house. I've got nothing switched on, so that's zero watts. So everything's gone well. It's all installed, it's powered on, and it's working. So I just thought I'd show you that, uh, and I shall do a few more videos in the series uh, showing, uh, taking us around the various settings uh, of the Shelly EM. Um, standalone and then I'll probably get connected to the Shelly EM cloud at some point and start uh, exploring the functions of that as well. As I understand it, the Shelly EM will store um, on its device uh, about a year's worth of power data. I don't think you can in standalone mode view that in a graph form. I know you can probably do that uh, through the Shelly app uh, in cloud mode. And I know you can integrate this with various smart uh, hubs. So I'll be doing all of that in future videos. Well, I hope you found this, uh, this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing, maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.